Lucky you, your favorite cousin's back. Hello and welcome to the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. Ms. Velveteen is off trying cocktails, so I thought I'd drop in and fill you in on the latest in my love life. As usual, you're gonna need a drink for this, so let's get one now. There are those who say that Merlot isn't appropriate for summer. To those people I say, you drink what you want and I'll drink your Merlot. I found this bottle of Barrow's Intense Ginger Liqueur behind the bar and thought, what the hell? Turns out it's great in wine. All you do is add one ounce of the liqueur to your wine glass and fill with your Merlot. You know the Franzia is my go-to, but you do you. I could drink these all day and probably will. Summer seems to be wiener season whether or not you're dating. Lucky you if the only wieners you encounter arrive on buns. I like to improve mine by poking some holes in them with a knife, soaking them in Merlot for an hour or so and grilling them up. Grill some fresh pineapple and onions while you're at it. Chop them into a salsa, toss with a little lime juice and salt, and serve with your dog. Whiny wieners. What a perfect segue into my latest dating disaster. So, Richard. I met Richard at Bottle King in Ramsey, in the boxed wine aisle, which seemed like a good sign because he was picking up a box of Pinot Noir. Not my go-to, but okay. We met for a glass of wine, and all seemed to be going well until we started talking about our pasts, and he told me he was a flying squirrel in a past life. That cracked me up, but it turns out he wasn't kidding. He was obsessed with having me undergo past life regression. I tried to be nice, but I told him I didn't think so. He started whining on and on and on in this really high voice about how I was marginalizing him and how it was unhealthy for him to be with me. I said, fine. Bye, Rich. He tried to stiff me with the bill since he said I owed him, but I grabbed his wallet and pulled out a 20 before he could get away. He started yelling, thief, thief, but the only person who could hear him was the bartender who was ignoring him. I returned his wallet, minus one bill, and sent him on his way. It's no joke out there. I'm thinking of giving up and adopting a pet. They may still accuse me, but at least I won't understand them. Well, that's it. Ms. Velveteen will be back on Thursday for happy hour. In the meantime, I'll be relaxing with my wine. If you know any good guys, feel free to set me up. Just please, no crazies. I can't take it anymore. I'll see you real soon.